Podcasting from the Chicagoland area, this is Game On with Jackson Stewart, where we discuss men's lifestyle, focusing on sex, fitness, relationships, business, and more. We'll be interviewing the best of the best, the hot shots, and the rising stars in the worlds of modeling, fitness, cooking, and more. Influencers who are discussing keeping it sexy while at the top of their game. I'm your host, Jackson Stewart. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the game. What if you could be a better player for the cost of one more cup of coffee a month? Get access to a growing library of lit erotica, behind the scenes action, and player's guides with tips on drinking, cooking, fitness, dating, sex, and life after dark. Low tier rate while offer lasts. Patreon.com, game on with Jack. Keep it sexy and game on. Good people, sexy people, welcome to another episode of Game On with Jackson Stewart. I'm your host, and as always, I really appreciate you guys taking time out to join the show, and uh, hopefully you're getting something out of it. I know I get something out of uh, every time we get a chance to interact with your comments, um, notes on YouTube and Twitter, and also definitely when we get a chance to meet up with uh, with guests and really get a chance to you know, learn from their various paths to success. And it's, you know, you can pick any guest and you will find what I guarantee is a 20 minute, half hour, 45 minute discussion that you will be able to take away some tips that will help you level up your game, uh, whatever the game is to you, whether it be financial, uh, romantic, emotional, psychological, spiritual, whatever it may be. You'll definitely get some tips and pointers, and that's that's why I do the show. Definitely want to point you guys to uh, YouTube, putting up YouTube content daily. Want to make sure you guys are swinging by. Please take a moment to like and subscribe uh, to the channel. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. It is youtube.com slash at Game On With Jack, so definitely check us out. Patreon.com forward slash Game On With Jack. Subscribe to the Game On Guides. The blog is blowing up, putting in a lot of work to it. So check it out on GameOnWithJack.blog, B-L-O-G. And please make sure you swing by the brand new players shop where players go to get the proper gear for the game. That's GameOnWithJack.shop, S-H-O-P. So uh, putting out items that I feel, if you were to uh, add them to your... Um, your player arsenal, (laughs) you know, we, I've got recommendations on cookware, drinkware, um, tech, fashion, gonna be adding more stuff definitely in the very near future. So check it out. And, um, I think you'll find something that you will like. Today we're talking about real talk, uh, ask Jack, angry man questions. A couple weeks ago, I did a show on, um, oh, which by the way, I hope you guys had a good, good Hanukkah, good Christmas, good Kwanzaa. Uh, for the, for those of you who have no religious holidays around this time of the year, I still hope 
that the winner is treating you and yours well. Ah, that was whiskey. So good drinking while I do the show. Um, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I did a show talking about uh, the angry man, why it seems like there's this rise in, uh, in angry men. You know, we've got um, Andrew Tate. We've got uh, Jordan Peterson. You know, whether whether or not that be the persona they want to portray, people are looking at them as, you know, the the uh, the voice for this angry male mentality. And, you know, there seems to be this growth in, in Discord servers and Twitter pages and followings and social media of just like all these pissed off dudes talking about things that make them mad. And, and so we talked about that on the show a couple of weeks ago. I wanted to do a follow up. So that's tonight. And I got some questions from you guys. I want to read out and give you my take, my answers on it and my perspective on the idea of the angry man. So let's kick off with just that. What is my, <coughs> excuse me, my perspective on the angry male? Um, so definitely because of social media and technology, and I'm not blaming either. I'm not trying to make social media the devil or uh, anything along those lines, but it has allowed us to communicate faster, wider, and with an instantaneous action and reaction to our comments, our, our ideas, our feelings. So we do have this sense that men are angrier. And I kind of think all, all we're seeing now is just how angry guys have been for a long time. You know, the idea of insecurity, the idea of feeling victimized, the idea of feeling ignored or passed over, that's been here as long as mankind has been here, right? Those are just emotions. We didn't get new emotions recently. It's just that now we can um, showcase them faster, bigger. So it does look like we have this angrier male um, growth in, in the population. I disagree. I think it's always been there. It's just that now it's we can see it more. You know, I mean, if you be a student of history, and I, I like to think I'm a junior student of history, but... You know, look at, uh, look at any of your male conquerors or rulers. Look at Napoleon. Look at Nero. Look at Caesar. Look at, uh, Idi Amin. Look at, uh, Baby Doc Duvalier. Look at, um, Mussolini. And, you know, I'm not going to go as far as Hitler, but, you know, we do have a history of men being angry and taking it out on, on the population. So that's why I, I don't think that there is a growth and it's just that we are more aware of it. I did cover where I think this comes from. And, you know, I'm a man and I think men have unique points of anger, flash points that piss them off. And there's a lot of them that I'm not proud of. You know, there is a sense of feeling like you're ignored. There is a sense of feeling like you can be passed over. Um, and it all comes down to, and I point this out, guys, we cannot fall into the trap of entitlement because we're men. We cannot fall into the trap of feeling victimized because we are men. To me, if we are men, and I mean men in the strongest, most positive aspect of the word, we've got to be strong enough to be gentle. We've got to be powerful enough that we can put our foot down and pave the way against what's wrong and stand up for what's right. You know, um, so that's, you know, if you want to hear more, go back and listen to the earlier show. But that's my rehash on it, and let's get some of these questions. So first up is from PJ. Uh, PJ hit me up, slid into the DMs on Twitter, and PJ says, Jackson, why are angry men everywhere? Well, PJ, I don't think they are everywhere. Um, I think it just seems like they are. And here, here's the thing about human psychology. We are wired to look at the negative. It's a survival technique. You know, way back when we were huddled around the fire and crawling our caves, we did not look at the things that were safe, that were good. We looked at the things that were dangerous, so we made it through another night. You know, we we saw that monkey eat those berries and drop dead. We didn't look at, we were like, oh yeah, we know we can eat the bananas and the pineapples, whatever, but those berries are dangerous. Everybody tell everybody, don't eat those. So we gravitate towards the negative for survival. 
Now, flash forward through, you know, eons and generations and millennia of civilization, and we still primarily focus on the negative. So that's why we do focus on all the uh, all the feedback that we see in, in the media of these guys that portray themselves as, you know, hardcore alphas or or, you know, telling guys they got to stand up for themselves. We focus on that, especially if it makes us feel uncomfortable, especially if we think like, God, that guy's an asshole. We're going to focus on that. Um, angry men are not everywhere. If that was the case, we would be in, we'd be like in the purge and we're not, we're not in the purge. Um, if you haven't seen the purge, you know, it's that movie where one, one night a year, we get to just do whatever kind of horrible things we want to do with no criminal uh, repercussions. So, PJ, uh, look towards the light. There are tons of guys on social media that are giving out positive messages for, for men, you know, and I'll name a couple. I, I love, um, ET, the hip hop preacher. I think his message about male development is, is amazing. I'll go back even further, you know, God rest his soul, Bob Proctor. That's the guy who's all over social media, who instills in, in men, and not just men, but women also, just a sense of you can achieve anything. It's a very positive message. So if you look, PJ, there are plenty of empowering men out there who are not stoking the fires of anger. Next question, uh, Anonymous says, uh, I feel like I have every right to be angry. Everything is changing and leaving me behind. Anonymous, that is not the case. Um, you feel that way, and I'm not going to discount your feeling because something is making you have that emotional response. But just because things are changing does not mean that they're changing for your worse or your ill. Change is scary. You know, even good change is scary. Think about when you've gotten a promotion or gotten a new job or, you know, got a new girlfriend or boyfriend or got married or or moved to a bigger place. It's still change and it's still scary. And the animal, you know, it's a, anger is a primal reaction. It's a primal emotion. Um, so the animal in us gets scared. And when you scare an animal, it fights back. So if you are able to look at things logically, make a list. What is changing? Make another column to that list. How is it affecting me negatively? And then make another column. How is it affecting me positively? If you cannot label anything as being a positive effect, then you should know your perspective is, is wrong. And that goes for anything. If you can only look at something and, and list the bad about it, you have a fucked up perspective. Anonymous, if you still feel like this, if you still feel like you're slighted or ignored, talk to somebody. I mean, so many crimes happen because somebody felt like nobody was listening to them. Nobody cared about them, that the world was bullying them. Go talk to a therapist. There's nothing wrong with it. Mental health is extremely, extremely important. Hand in hand with your physical health, if maybe not even more so important because where the mind goes, the body follows. So if you're feeling angry and slighted and, and left behind, go talk to a therapist. If you work at a place that has some type of employee counseling, look into it. And this is your chance to be heard. A therapist will listen to you. That's their job. If you feel nobody's listening to you, go find somebody who will and get get better. Find peace. And I guarantee you, you will find that the changes that you are resenting right now, you will find a way to embrace them. And, I, you know, I wish you all the best, man. Uh, Slip223 hit me up on YouTube and said, game on. Don't you ever get angry as a man? Yeah, shit. <laughs> I'm going to have to take a drink on that one. Um, Slip, yeah, I do. More times than I wish I did. I. Uh, I, I've been known to have a temper. I'm not going to lie about it. I've been known to have a an intense way about me when I react to things. And um, 
I've been told I'm very self-aware and I'm, I'm proud of that. And I try and practice that as much as possible so that I can tell myself, Jack, you are, what just happened to you is not at the level that it pissed you off. And when you get that level of self-awareness, it helps you step outside of the situation and see, see the mistake of your actions, see the overreaction and how you're behaving. Um, and I know, don't get me wrong. I, I still get, I still see red, but I've been around a long time and I've been around a lot of ways. And to me, I try and step out of the situation. I try and think if I blow my cool, right, how does this impact me the rest of the day tomorrow, five, you know, a year from now? Um, I have very, very good people in my life that I trust that I can say, hey, you know, this happened and that happened and I felt that way and they can go, Jack, you're, you know, you're way off course. And I'll trust them, you know. So, yes, I do get angry, but I, I believe I have check and balances in place to kind of keep me cool. Um, you know, and I, I, I try and remind myself of, you know, Everybody has got something going on in their lives that makes that, that, you know, nobody lives a perfect life. I don't care how wealthy you are. I don't care how beautiful or handsome you are. We all got shit that we're going through. And reminding myself of that kind of puts me on kind of a level uh, playing field of, of my mind and my reaction. So uh, next question came in. Uh, what do you recommend for being angry? Um. So, yeah, um, I find that anger is best dealt with before you get angry. So what do I mean by that? I feel like all day or in every aspect of your life, you should be building up like anti-angry um, barriers. It's like, for example, I meditate every day. I feel like meditation, to whatever degree you you want to do it is important, right? Whether it be through yoga, whether it be through religious uh, prayer and, and quiet moments, whatever it is that helps you send to yourself, whether it be um, hypothalamus reset breathing, whatever, allow that to uh, be part of your, like, I won't say anti-anger because anti-anger still is focusing on anger, but to be part of your calming um work like the work you do to keep yourself calm even when you're not angry um i believe in uh you know exercise i feel like helps me to and helps a lot of people to uh balance out that testosterone that aggression reading uh spending time with people that i enjoy you know the thing i find with with anger and with a lot of negative emotions that we may be going through. It's not so much that we're doing too much or that we can't handle the anger, but it's just that we're not doing enough to balance out the scale. So on one side, you got all the shit you got to deal with. And the other side of the scale is you and how good you feel and how healthy you feel physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. If you're not doing enough work on that side of the scale, then you're out of balance. And you're going to feel more angry about every damn thing that you go through. So those are my recommendations. Meditate, um, stay healthy, uh, do things for you so that when you do run into a, a situation that should anger you, you're so chill and you're so at peace and you feel so good about everything that you won't get as angry. Like when we feel like shit, when we're tired, when we're frustrated, when we're hungry and something minor bad happens. It's like, it's like World War 18, right? Like we react on a scale of one to 10, we're hitting 11 because we're fucking tired. We don't feel good at the moment. So if you feel good going in and something bad happens, you can better uh, navigate it. Uh, another, another anonymous question, I'm sorry, uh, writes in, how do you handle the angry man in your life, Jackson? Oof, I've got some. Um, you know, I try and def I try and decide: is this somebody I have to see? 
somebody I have to interact with in my life or can I kind of avoid them to a certain degree? Um, and if I have to interact with them, let's say they're related to me or something, I try and figure out one, if I can talk to them, talk to them about their anger, like, look, man, you're, you're always fucking pissed off. What's going on? Or if I can minimize the amount of time I have to be around them. And whenever time I do go to see them, I, um, I, I do some pre-work in where like I, I get myself in as good of a mindset as possible before I go interact with them because their anger is almost like contagious, you know, at the very least it's draining. So if you go in already, like feeling like about 55% good, they may bring you down to their level. But if you go in, you know, you've meditated, you've had some positive um, mental diet, meaning you watched something that made you feel good, you read something that made you feel good, then you might be able to stab off their um, their contagious negative vibe. So that's how I handle that situation. Um, it's not easy, though, especially if you, if you love the person. Just because you love somebody doesn't mean that they're – Always the best thing to be around all the time. Vibe. Vibe hit me up on uh, YouTube. Jack, is anger okay? <sighs> yeah. I mean, you know, all your emotions, emotions aren't good or bad. It's what we do with them. Um, say, for example, lust. And lust is typically like, ugh, I mean, it's hell, it's one of the seven deadly sins, right? I mean, but lust can be a good thing because if you are with somebody and you need to connect physically, you need to have lust for them. You need to be attracted physically to who they are. You need to want to engage, right, in sexual activity with them. That's lust. But anger, like any emotion, if let run amok, right, if it's uncontrolled, it's bad. Right? I mean, shit, love is the greatest emotion ever, but too much love is a bad thing because too much love can turn into obsession, can turn into smothering somebody, you know, like you you just can't let them out of your sight. So anger can let you do some pretty kick-ass things, you know, like if it's an emergency um, and you need to lift something heavy or you need to run fast, that's anger. Like, shit, I don't want to... I'm not dying in this fire or I'm not going to get eaten by that lion, whatever it is that. So then you tap into that anger, which then kicks off your adrenaline and I mean, hand in hand with fear. Next thing you kick ass, but too much anger is not okay vibe. So that that's definitely my answer for that. Um, lost server one writes in, I was on a Discord server. Okay, that explains the name. I was on a Discord server that slowly became Angry Manville. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I like my Angry Manville. What should I do? Well, Discord server, you got about three options. If it's your server and you care about it, you can tell everybody, hey, look, the following topics are no longer to be discussed. We're not talking about whatever it is. And, you know, you can tell people to please change their dialogue or leave. Step in, let people know how you feel because that's your server and see what happens. If people don't go in, that's one. If people don't get on board with it, you can start to kick them out. Or if people, um, if it's not your server and you have no ability to change the course of communication, Leave. Leave and go start another server. Um, and I think that that's something that we struggle with, uh, especially talking about anger. You know, we're almost like, well, I want to stay in there and, and combat. I want to stay in there and fight against it. You know, it's a great story with Mother Teresa. And this goes with people with law of attraction. It also goes to martial arts. The thing you focus on is the thing that grows. So there's a story that has it that somebody wanted to invite Mother Teresa to an anti-war protest. And she said, no, she said, but invite me to a pro peace rally and I'll be there. Sometimes people want to stay in this angry manville, as you put it, and, and straighten people out. 
you know, why you guys shouldn't say that about this group or shouldn't talk about women that way or blah, 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 whatever. And nobody's coming to take your jobs. And, but you're not going to change anybody's mind like that. And to cut bait and run is not to be cowardice, but it's really protecting you. Somebody is sitting on the keyboard on the other side of God knows where saying wild, angry shit about whoever or whatever is not going to be swayed by your opinion on the other side of the world on another keyboard. All they're going to do is probably piss you off. And now you've been infected. Now you're an angry man. So find a place of peace. Start a peace server. Start a server that talks about the good things that are going on in the world. Start a server that empowers men. And that's something I like. That's one of the things about Game On, man. We're not here talking about anger. anger. I'm not here to piss you guys off. I'm not here to make you guys more pissed off. Game On is about leveling men up and giving you guys positive tools, positive knowledge to be better players at the game. So, Lost Server, there you go. Uh... Another anonymous question. I hate being around my brother who is one of these angry males. What should I do? Anonymous, that's hard because obviously you, you must love your brother. But like I said before, you got to figure out if you can change him, which, you know, tough. Um, do you have to be around him? <clears throat> if you do, how long do you have to be around him? If you don't, can you just get away with, uh, you know, text messages and quick phone calls and birthday cards. Um, it sucks, man, because when you see people that you, that you loved, people that you grew up with turn into these angry, venomous, you know, embittered people, it's hard. It's almost like they've been replaced, you know, by, by something else. But, um, you know, don't try and change his politics. Don't try and change his view on the world. If it's some anger inside the family that you can help him talk through, that's different. You know, if he's angry about, you know, I don't know, Aunt Josephine didn't go to Uncle Lewis's funeral and that's been burning in him in years. Well, that's something you can talk about and, you know, suggest, hey, man, let's go talk to a family counselor together. Um, get, get him and yourself together to a professional. But at some point you got to realize that, you know, we we can only help people. We can't make people save themselves. So deal with him without losing yourself and uh, do the best you can. Reggie sends in uh, not a question but a statement, but I like this. Anger is poisonous. Reggie, you are 100% right. Anger is very poisonous. Anger is infectious and... um Sinister, because anger is a, a sweet, seductive whisper that tells you you are right in your anger. You are correct in your rage. And, and that's one of the things that makes anger so so dangerous. So a great point you, point you put out there. Lastly, Anonymous, what is the appeal of all these angry guys on social media? Well, Anonymous, um, I believe that. Anger comes from fear, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. The things we hate, we really fear. And fear is very isolated or very isolating. So when you're afraid, you feel like you're alone. There's strength in numbers, right? So if I'm afraid of the purple people, because I feel like the purple people are taking my jobs and, and changing the laws that I, to, to create a world of purple people I don't understand, I'm afraid. I feel alone. I feel like the purple people are out to get me. Then I find you and you don't like the purple people either. Now I feel like we've like a, we've got a voice and somebody hears me. I no longer feel ignored. I feel empowered because there's not just one of us, but there's two of us. Then we get online and we Google people who hate purple people and we find a whole discord server or YouTube page or Facebook group. And and so then it grows. So the appeal is um, it <sighs> anger is born out of fear, and fearful people are starting to feel like they're no longer ignored or neglected, and that's the appeal. And 
you know, I always tell people, and as dark as it may ever seem, it doesn't take a lot of light to make a difference. So be that light. There are plenty of positive, upbeat male role models out there like myself that you guys can follow and listen to and will encourage you. And um, you won't walk away feeling like you're all fired up to have to go beat somebody's ass, but you'll feel empowered to play the game. Once again, folks, catch me on YouTube, Game On With Jack, patreon.com slash Game On With Jack, Twitter at Game On With Jack. You guys can pick up a theme here. Uh, brand new, the blog is fired back up, Game On With Jack dot blog. Player shop, go on and get yourself something nice. Treat yourself. Players shop, Game On With Jack dot shop. We still got the Game On With Jack dot aweb dot page where you can sign up for the new Game On With Jackson Stewart email list and receive free 15 confidence commandments right now you guys have been awesome it's been an amazing year uh great guest for an, an amazing audience i really appreciate you guys tuning in and uh liking and subscribing and following all the good stuff 2023 here we come baby i wish you guys all a safe and happy new year um keep it sexy game on <laughs>